Hello everyone, welcome to our video lecture on registers in parallel. Myself, K. R. Biradar, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Let us start with the learning outcomes first. At the end of this session, you will be able to justify the circuit behavior when registers are connected in parallel. Introduction Registers when connected in, in a circuit, that connection may be either series or parallel. What happens? with the voltage and current when resistances are connected in parallel. We shall see those things in this video. Resistances in parallel. Resistances are said to be connected in parallel when both of their terminals are respectively connected to each terminal of the other register or registers. See this diagram. There is a voltage source is connected. There are three resistances R1, R2 and R3 which are connected in parallel. The current flowing across this circuit here it is I and it divides as I1, I2 and I3. I1 is across the R1, I2 is across the resistance R2 and I3 is across the resistance R3. In this case, the total current I that leaves the battery is split into three separate paths. Therefore, I equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Therefore, the equivalent resistance when connected in parallel. In this diagram, resistance are the equivalent resistance when three resistances are connected in parallel. Therefore, it is RP. RP is the total or effective resistance when connected in parallel. Again, there is a battery or voltage source and current flowing across this is I and Rp is the total or effective resistance. Expression for resistors in parallel. Total current I in the circuit is equal to the sum of currents through each of three resistances. Therefore, I equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 in the circuit diagram. Since the voltage across each resistor is the same, Applying Ohm's law to each register, we have I1 equal to V divided by R1. So, voltage will be same that is resistance R1. Similarly, I2 which is flowing across R2, I2 equal to V divided by R2. Similarly, I3 equal to V divided by R3. If I substitute I1, I2 and I3, in main current I, therefore I now becomes equal to V divided by R1 plus V divided by R2 plus V divided by R3. Again this is equal to if I take V common V into 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. This is also equal to V divided by Rp. Therefore, 1 by Rp equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. That means, 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 will be replaced by 1 by Rp. Here, R phi refers to equivalent resistance when connected in parallel. The value of equivalent resistance in parallel connection will be lesser than each individual resistance. That means, equivalent resistance when connected in parallel, their, their value will be reduced. 
take one problem calculate the equivalent resistance in the following circuit and also find the current i1 i2 and i3 in the given circuit this is a circuit diagram having battery or voltage source equal to 24 volt and there are two resistances are connected r1 and r2 which are in parallel having values r1 equal to 4 ohm and r2 equal to 6 ohm the current flowing from this battery is i i will be split at this position as i1 and i2 since the resistors are connected in parallel the equivalent resistance in the circuit is 1 divided by rp which is equal to 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2 so r1 he has given equal to 4 and ohm and r2 equal to 6 ohm 1 by r1 by 1 by 4 plus 1 by r2 by 1 by 6 you take the lcm and this comes out to be 5 divided by 12 ohm this 5 divided by 12 ohm is equal to 1 by rp therefore rp equal to take the reciprocal of it becomes 12 divided by 5 ohm the resistors are connected in parallel the voltage across each resistor is same therefore i1 equal to v divided by r1 v is same in both the resistors but substitute its value equal to 24 volt divided by r1 equal to 4 ohm so this is equal to 6 ampere similarly i2 equal to v divided by r2 substitute v equal to 24 r2 equal to 6 ohm which comes out to be 4 ampere the total current in two branches i equal to i1 plus i2 i1 equal to 6 ampere and i2 equal to 4 ampere 6 plus 4 this is equal to 10 ampere similarly we shall see one more example here calculate the equivalent resistance between a and b in the given circuit from the point a and b there are six resistors are connected so 2 ohm and 2 ohm are in parallel so 4 ohm and 4 ohm are in parallel and 6 ohm and 6 ohm are in parallel once if you know uh, simplify this parallel resistance then all three comes in series let us consider the first parallel combination we can say it is a part one in part one this 2 ohm and 2 ohm are in in parallel therefore their equivalent resistance is i consider 1 divided by rp1 which is equal to 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2 r1 here is 2 ohm and r2 is also 2 ohm that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 this comes out to be 1 ohm that means rp is a the combination of these two parallel resistance their equivalent resistance equal to 1 ohm similarly second parallel connection that 4 ohm and 4 ohm are in parallel therefore their 1 divided by rp2 is the equivalent resistance for these two 4 ohm resistors which are connected in parallel is equal to 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2 r1 is 4 and r2 is also 4 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 4 so if i simplify this rp comes out to equal to 2 ohm so this third part it is 6 ohm and 6 ohm resistance are in parallel these two resistances their equivalent resistance i will consider rp3 1 divided by rp3 equal to 1 divided by r1 plus 1 by r2 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 so therefore rp becomes equal to 3 ohm 
again between the terminals A and B, we have found out R P 1 is a combination of 2 ohm and 2 ohm that is first part and R P 2 also you have calculated, R P 3 also calculated, R P 1, R P 2 and R P 3 comes in series now. Therefore, series connections now R P 1 and R P 2, R P 3 are connected in series. Therefore, R P total or effective resistance R P equal to R P 1 plus R P 2 plus R P 3. If I sum it up, it comes out to be 6 ohm because R P 1 equal to 1 ohm, R P 2 equal to 2 ohm, R P 3 equal to 3 ohm. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal to 6 ohm. The equivalent resistance between points A and B is 6 ohm. These are the references used to prepare above PPT. Thank you.